गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू डे थ्री इन साउथ कोरिया एंड आई जस्ट वोक अप आई एम सुपर चौपी दिस मॉर्निंग फॉर सम रीजन इट्स जस्ट एट ओ क्लॉक एंड टूडे आई एम हेडिंग आउट ऑफ सोल सो आई एम सुपर एक्साइटेड ऑन टूडेज आइटनरी आई हैव नामी आईलैंड गार्डन ऑफ मॉर्निंग काम मे बी लिटिल फ्रांस एंड एलपैक वर्ल्ड विच आई एम द मोस्ट एक्साइटेड अबाउट सो वी आर जस्ट हेडेड आउट वी डेंट हैव मच टाइम टू गेट ब्रेकफेस्ट सो वी जस्ट ग्रैप Grab some stuff of bagel and cream cheese and coffee. I'm feeling very American today from Paris baguette, and we are going to um, head towards Nami Island now. It's about a two to and a half hour drive, so uh, I'm actually taking a, a private taxi today. Uh. So after a two two and a half hour of picturesque drive, we have arrived at the Alpaca World, and I'm super excited. So at ten o'clock in the morning, you actually get to interact with the animals, and there's also a feeding time. So I'm hoping I've reached here in time. Uh, let's hurry and go feed the alpacas. Uh, so this is the vending machine. From here, you can actually buy alpaca feed. All you need to do is uh, pay five thousand Korean won, and then you get the alpaca feed from the vending machine, and then run down. the alpacas and uh, we got these extra coins to buy some extra animal feed so this is actually a vending machine so you put a coin in and then you buy some extra animal feed and then i can see alpacas ha hanging around in their ranches over there so we're going to uh, buy some extra food go there and try to feed them so you put the coin in and then you press the button Official feeding time is now over, but anyway, I've picked up some extra feed, and I think you have to climb slightly on top uh, where uh, you have an ecological grazing field for the alpacas, and then there's also something called rabbit land. So let's go and explore it a little bit more. Okay, Alpaca World actually has a lot of other animals apart from it's more like a zoo other than the alpaca feeding. So they have a bunch of birds, they have like a whole aviary, they have some varieties of fox and here I found a cute little capybara. Now capybara is I think if I'm not wrong one of the largest rodent species in the world. And this guy is massive. They also have uh, an enclosure for fennec foxes. Now you can see these three little guys sleeping over here. The fennec fox is one of the really uh, small fox species in the world, and their most distinctive feature is, as you can see, their big ears, which they actually use for heat dissipation and picking up sounds. The souvenir shop right outside the Alpaca World, and they have such cute squishy toys. Look at this guy. 
I so badly want to take one back with me, but I don't think I have the space in my suitcase to do that. So maybe I'll try to get a mini version. Okay, so we got done with visiting the alpaca world, and we are taking a break for lunch. And our uh, very helpful guide and driver James has. Uh, uh gotten us here for lunch at this uh, so in this area where we are right now uh, the local specialty is chicken limbs okay so this is uh, the meal that we are having right now so this is like a hot uh, grill pan sort of a thing on which you have the actual meat cuts there's like cabbage and other vegetables and then they've served it with a side of three four different types of kimchi and uh, we are supposed to start it with this particular thing which is water kimchi which is like a chilled uh, chilled soup i don't know how to even describe this so we are supposed to drink that and then the uh, meat you can have it with a side of either fried rice or uh, noodles so uh, yeah let's taste so you start with this right Oh. Mm. Oh wow, this is like a chilled soup and it has a very nice like tangy fermented taste of kimchi in it. Seems a little bit spicy. Are you okay? Yeah. Mm. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Food has been cooked and I'm starting off with the meat. Chicken is so well cooked, and the it has like nicely soaked and nicely absorbed all of the saucy flavor. This meal is amazing. Uh, eat some kimchi with it. No good. So the name of the dish that we are eating right now is thakal b. Okay, so thakal means chicken and b means ribs. So basically, it is chicken ribs. Okay, so the meat cuts that we uh, are eating right now are uh, the cuts around the ribs of the chicken. And um, honestly, this uh, I think has been one of my favorite meals uh, so far. Even the fried rice which they serve later on. um it had seaweed and bean sprouts and just on the whole this meal has been really amazing i also love how uh, there's another way in which they eat this so you have these salad leaves right so you load up your meat on the leaf and sort of make it into a roll and then munch on that i really enjoyed that as well After that super super satisfying meal my next stop for the day is this rail park now this is a very unique experience that they offer here it's basically a rail road okay and you kind of uh, they have these uh, cycles i want to call them but they're not really cycles they're like these vehicles which can seat either two or four people and then uh, each individual has a set of pedals so basically you pedal across a rail road track I think this is going to be super fun. It's a stretch of about I think uh, eight kilometers. Out of it, six kilometers you cycle, and then after that you kind of go on a uh, ride on a train or something like that. So let's go and figure it out. Okay, so I'm here at the railroad park, and as you can see, uh, these are the. rail road compartments i don't know how to say it so these are basically two seater or four seater vehicles and then they are actually running on railway tracks or train tracks uh, they're like really vibrant colorful ones and i'm super excited to like actually uh, board them and start pedaling i think this is going to be a fun ride Surroundings are so beautiful, and we are just about to enter a tunnel.
Uh, so I am riding on a four seater uh, vehicle on a four seater rail car. Uh, a, a ticket for a four seater rail car will cost you 48,000 Korean won. So you can opt for either a two seater or a four seater. I think uh, this is a, like a super fun activity, especially if you're traveling with kids. I think um, the kids are going to have a lot of fun riding on this railroad. There's another tunnel coming up. They've done now. to head to one of the most beautiful islands here in South Korea that is the Nami Island. So this is the ferry pickup point. I'm going to head take the ferry which is going to take us through to the island. After the 5-10 minute-ish ferry ride, we have arrived to Nami Island. Welcome to the Nami Nara Republic. One of the reasons that makes Nami Island so popular is the fact that it has been the filming location for a lot of popular K-dramas. This gorgeous bridge that I'm standing on right now is called the Glass Sequoia Bridge. This bridge has been constructed, as you can see, out of used glass panels and soju bottles. How cool is that? This bridge was also the filming location for the first case uh, of the lead pair of the K-drama Winter Sonata. So that's what made this really, really popular and uh, I don't need to tell you guys how beautiful this is. This is just gorgeous, the pond surrounding it. So pretty. 
सो आई हैव स्पेंट अबाउट द लास्ट आवर आवर एंड हाफ जस्ट वॉकिंग अराउंड द नामी आईलैंड नामी आईलैंड इसेंशियली इज लाइक अ बंच ऑफ गार्डन देर आर कपल ऑफ वाटर फॉल्स देर आर अ कपल ऑफ वाटर बॉडीज पॉन्ट्स ब्रिजेस ऑल ऑफ दैट राइट नाउ आई एम स्टैंडिंग इन द वाइट बर्ज ग्रूव दर इज अ चेरी ट्री लेन दर इज अ गिंको ट्री लेन एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट बट इसेंशियली वॉट इट इज इज जस्ट अ गार्डन सो इट वॉज ऑनेस्टली अ लिटल अंडरवेलमिंग फॉर मी बिकॉज दर इज नथिंग मच टू डू हियर एक्सेप्ट फॉर जस्ट लाइक स्ट्रोल अराउंड इन द गार्डन सो आई थिंक इट्स अ ग्रेट प्लेस फॉर यू टू कम इफ यू आर कमिंग विथ स्मॉल किड्स बिकॉज दे प्रॉली विल हैव अ लॉट ऑफ फन प्लेइंग अराउंड बट फॉर अडल्ट आई डोंट नो यू कैंट रियली स्पेंड मोर देन एन आवर आवर एंड हाफ हियर बट वन रियली गुड थिंग about this uh, island is that it's completely pet friendly there's also a park a uh, canine park known as together park and we saw so many people walking their dogs dogs meeting each other making friends and all of that so if you have some pets definitely get them here So I'm out for my dinner meal right now, and uh, guys, before I tell you all uh, what I'm eating, let me tell you about uh, the slight, actually, the major language problem situation that's happening here. Like it's at so many places, especially local restaurants. Most of the people who are going to be serving you or the managing staff, they don't understand even a little bit of English. So we are having a really, really tough time placing our orders. Like right now, I wanted to order for this bowl of bibimbap and. I literally had to use Google Translate to translate whatever I was saying in English to Korean and then show it to them so that they can read it in Korean and understand what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, just a heads up: be prepared to face a lot of language issues if you don't speak Korean. Uh, okay. Anyway, having said that, I have ordered for uh, kimchi pancakes, which sounds really, really interesting. It's apparently a starter with like. uh crispy fried kimchi and eggs if i'm not wrong and then i've ordered for a bowl of bibimbap which is like a a uh, popular korean rice dish uh, it has rice and eggs and bean sprouts and other vegetables uh, along with some sauces uh, we have ordered for the vegetarian version of it never tried a vegetarian uh, bibimbap let's try it today okay i'm starting off uh, trying the kimchi pancake <laughs> Hmm. Okay. It's kind of like kind of like an omelet with a strong flavor of kimchi, like a very tangy, spicy omelet. Actually, not bad. The texture is quite dense. Not what I expected. Quite a nice, flavorful um, appetizer for your tongue before you dig into your main meal. Hmm. Big thumbs up. We'll definitely try kimchi pancakes, and I'm also gonna try the bibimbap. Not bad. I like the bean sprouts and the veggies or whatever. Although obviously. It tastes better with some kind of meat. I'm trying the vegetarian version, so not as great as uh, the meat version would taste. But still, sure, not bad. I like the seaweed, the sesame seeds, and the bean sprout kind of flavors. They're going really well together. Okay, so guys, another tip: if you're traveling to Korea and if you're a vegetarian. you are going to have some serious issues okay so for me i am non vegetarian and i eat pretty much everything so for me it wasn't such a big deal but uh, if you are a uh, vegan vegetarian uh, finding appropriate and enough food options here is going to be a major challenge because firstly most of, most local restaurants have no vegetarian options on their menu um you will really have to struggle to find a place there are a few vegetarian restaurants and i'll try to give you more information about what all vegetarian restaurants you can go to uh, in probably the next episode but um, you really have to find and go to a vegetarian restaurant because most other local restaurants will be serving only non vegetarian food and also if you're a non vegetarian who does not eat red meats like i know a lot of indians don't eat beef and pork so if you are one of those you are again going to have a lot of trouble because uh, i had a lot of trouble finding any place that serves chicken so you really have to look for these places so uh, yeah come prepared otherwise um, 
uh, instant ramen yeah. from 7-Eleven is always an option. <laughs> After having a super satisfying meal, uh, I was still not satisfied. So before I head, headed back to my hotel, I wanted to pick up like a traditional Korean dessert. So I just walked into this random uh, dessert shop in Insidong, and uh, I have they have a bunch of flavors in their traditional sticky rice cakes. So this is like a very uh, traditional dessert that people have in Korea. So there are a bunch of flavors, right from green tea, chocolate, sweet potato to the traditional. Uh, the plain one or uh, to this one. Uh, so I have picked out the persimmon, persimmon sticky rice cake. Now persimmon is like a fruit which is like mildly sweet and like orange in color. So I have picked that out. So I'm going to grab it and go back to my room. And then this ends my video for day three in South Korea. I will see you in the next episode. Bye. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.